Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm Chris. I'm here to do your building analysis. Chris, today. I'm Jeff. Pleased to meet you. Glad you're here. Come on in. Let's get started. Sure. I'll just start by asking you a few general questions of your home. In terms of home performance, how would you say your home performs? Uh, you know, do you feel like you spend a lot on your utility bills? Do you have rooms that are hotter or colder than others? Uh, the heat is fairly good. It's fairly even. Approximately when was your home built? It's probably built right around uh, 1920, uh, maybe into the mid-20s. Due to the nature of the building stock, uh, you know, your building is inherently leaky. Um, we're going to run some diagnostic tests to see if we can't pinpoint some of the leaks in your home. Great. Okay, feel free to follow me around at any point. Ask a lot of questions if you'd like. Sounds good. Good. Here's a secondary attic space and you have, uh, looks like an air handling unit in here. Uh, plenty of duct work winding around and then some uh, fiberglass bat underneath. I had some questions, Chris, about solutions that would help to keep the heat from penetrating the roof and getting into the space and eventually and essentially heating the living space. The best solution might be to just foam the roof, uh, foam the sidewalls, and just sort of bring this area into the conditioned space. You know, in a typical basement, I'd be doing a lot of testing to make sure these things draft properly and. Uh, testing for carbon monoxide problems. I can test on the system for carbon monoxide on the outside. Uh, however, this is uh, a sealed combustion system. This is uh, a very efficient system. This is not what we typically see in Philadelphia. And next, I'll get the blower door set up. Okay. So what's the concept here, Chris? We blow air in or blow air out? Or? Blow air out. Uh, and the idea is to depressurize the building envelope. It's going to be uh, 50 pascals of pressure. I usually compare that to about a 20 mile an hour wind mm -hmm. going through your home. So the blower door is going to do two things for us today. It's going to um, give us a pressure reading on your home. Uh, it's going to tell us uh, how leakier your home is than an engineering standard. Um, also, it's going to pinpoint any naturally occurring leaks in your home by about a factor of 10. Pressurized at 50 pascals. Uh, we have an air movement of 3,550 cubic feet. Uh, I would say that's pretty good. Uh, how many square feet do you have? If you had to estimate, um, it'd be probably under 2,500. Maybe. Well, we count on the basement. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, probably that would put it over 2,500. So, but I don't think it's 3,500. I'm not sure what the correlation would be. I'll get a more accurate measurement. Yeah. I would say your home is pretty tight. You know, I would expect the minimum air tightness to be something like 1,200. What do you typically see, Chris, in a house? In Philadelphia, yeah. we typically see four to five times leakier uh, okay. than the standard. Let's have a look around and see if we can pinpoint some of the air leaks in your home. Good. There's quite a bit more air uh, moving from this room uh, in the basement. And you're also pulling from the bathroom, which has a vent. Gotcha. You can really feel you know, the air gushing. Um, oh, yeah. The you feel around them. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're pulling air in somewhere. Yeah, so there's more opportunity in here. Yeah. So here's a common problem. High hat lights. You can kind of smell the attic now. So definitely pulling in attic air. So the idea would be to get uh, a better cover on top of these things from the attic space. Yeah, take a look over here, Jeff. And what's interesting, if you feel uh, around any of these um, outlets that go into the, uh, the yeah. wall cavity, you realize they're just uh, gushing. Oh my. Yeah, that so one really is, yeah. You're yeah, right. so there's a ton of air leakage coming in here. And, you know, the way to kind of address that is to tighten up the insulation on the other side uh, and, and control it at the source. Okay, great. So I think we have a pretty good idea at this point of how the air is moving in your home, yeah. and, and we realize there's a ton of opportunity on the top floor. These old homes are always very interesting. I think uh, Jeff does a really good job of maintaining his home. You know, everything looks good and everything seems to check out. There are no major durability issues. What we can predict uh, with something like this is when he finishes with his insulation upgrades that he will save right around 20% on his heating bills. Most of my concern has been finding a company that's, that's experienced and, uh, and reputable and is, is offering a comprehensive test, including the, the lower door test. Uh, not all the companies do that. What was done today exceeded my expectations. Chris was a good person to have on site to sort of make it more digestible and understandable.